Welcome to How to Have Fun Cruising. That's right, your cruise channel with the Leche and Tommy T. And boy, we got a special one for you today. That's right, 10 tips from St. Kitts. 10 tips, and if you've seen some of our other videos on 10 tips from different islands, like we've done with Grand Turk and Bermuda and others, you definitely want to subscribe. Hit that like button for sure, and definitely check out our Facebook, Instagram, and our website, How to Have Fun that's right, cruising. So today is all about St. Kitts. And let's start with tip number one, shop till you drop. Believe it or not, when you get right off the ship, there's plenty of shopping to do. And for whatever reason, I always think of St. Kitts for clothes and jewelry. These guys got tons of clothes. They know how to get you dressed up, all kinds of bikinis, cool Hawaiian shirts, you name it. And if you're not familiar, we also have How to Have Fun Outdoors. We went here on the allure of the sea. So we've done that full walkthrough on our sister channel. We've also done the top of the ship and tips for the allure of the seas on this channel. You are definitely going to want to check it out. But let's talk about St. Kitts a little bit. This is St. Kitts and Nevis. This is a dual island nation situated between the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. It's known for its beautiful mountains and beaches. Many of them uh, uh, were uh, former sugar plantations uh, and now they're inns and really cool places to go visit. And when you visit there, two of the most popular attractions, tip number two, is the Brimstone Hill National Park. It's like a fort, super cool, very popular place to visit. And believe it or not, the number one place to go visit by TripAdvisor is that's right, Greg's uh, Safaris and they do all kinds of tours. Uh, it's kind of like a tour guide of the island, if you will. So that's definitely worth checking out. Tip number four, are you guys ready? Take a taxi to a beach. There are so many beautiful beaches all over this island. And quite honestly, of many of them, there's no hotels, there's no people. Uh, unlike so many places in the world, you can just basically take a taxi to any part of the island, jump off, and you got your own little beach. It is that beautiful, that amazing. And what about tip number five? That's right, folks. Do a kayak trip. And we did exactly that. Another crazy thing about uh, St. Kitts is everybody does kayak trips. I don't know what happened here, but uh, for sure there's lots of these shore excursions where you can uh, get in these kayaks and go. I think the waters are pretty calm, super clear, and a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kayak trip for you and check it out with the leeche. Time to get your life jackets on. We're going for it. You ready? I'm always ready. I was uh, born ready. Let's do it. After kayaking about 600 to 800 meters or almost a half a mile, um, it was pretty simple, straightforward, down the coast. Uh, we arrived at our snorkeling site and boy was it beautiful back in this little cove. Very rocky, so it was really easy to kayak throughout this little bay, uh, which is nice. A lot of times they take you out in the water and you're you know, in the middle of nowhere and uh, here you had your own little Gilligan's Island Cove to snorkel which was really nice and you're gonna to get to see that uh, as far as the snorkeling goes it was excellent we saw stingray we saw octopus uh, eels uh, fish and quite honestly when you got off the shore the farther out you went the clearer the water got so that's one of our key tips for anyone going on this shore excursion is definitely snorkel out as far as you can um, and you're gonna see a lot more for sure but overall, we had a great time, and we're going to send you into the water with our GoPros and uh, check out some of this Caribbean wildlife. We look forward to uh, playing some music for you and checking it out. Okay, 
for tip number six, we highly recommend booking a snorkeling trip on this island. Lots of fish, lots of wildlife. You got the stingrays, you've got all kinds of stuff going on there. We saw squids, you're gonna get to see some great footage. So definitely this is a great place, especially Nevis also has some great snorkeling. We highly recommend it. So take a look at this. If you love snorkeling, St. Kitts is a great place to snorkel. Some of our favorite places are the White House Bay, the South Friars Bay, where we were. Uh, the Crumbola Beach Club is a real popular place. Uh, Shitton Bay is very popular. Frigate Bay, South Beach is a great place to go. Nags Head Reef, Sandy Point Marine Park. Uh, Half Moon Bay and uh, Turtle Beach. Those are some of our favorites, uh, but uh, you definitely have plenty of places to snorkel when you go to St. Kitts. It's a great place to visit. got to see a little bit of everything on this snorkel trip but one of the cool things that we witnessed is when Aliche spotted the squid that's right right there she's like look down check this out these things were remarkable when you see them in the wild they're like supernatural something from outer space the way they swim the way they school together and the way they look is truly remarkable check out all of these squid that we saw We always tell everyone on our snorkel videos to get out by the rocks and go where the cliffs are. And then this uh, excursion was no different. Once we crossed over this little ridge of rocks, we actually went where there was a cliff to the deep side. And take a look at the school of fish. Absolutely stunning. snorkeling was fantastic but we weren't done yet we were almost back to the shore when we encountered this little eel and boy oh boy was he a frisky little guy take a look because he moves quickly nothing scarier than an eel for sure here he comes look out and bam <laughs> there you go but in any case that wasn't it we even got to see an octopus that's right an octopus right up by shore and it was super cool 
We all uh, were blown away by seeing this right up near the shoreline, and he was super cool. Okay, are you ready? Tip number eight. That's right. Lots of great hotels and resorts on this island. Um, no question about it, the Hyatt, the St. Kitts Marriott Resort, uh, Timothy Beach Resort, and uh, Marriott St. Kitts Beach Club. Those are some of my favorites. But there's so many great resorts and beautiful beaches. If you're looking at uh, going to an island down in the Caribbean for a week or two and not taking a cruise, uh, these resorts, in my opinion, are some of the best. Okay, tip number nine, lots of activities and shore excursions. They've got catamaran, they've got ATV, they've got a train ride that we went on and had a blast. You're gonna see that in a minute. Lots of great stuff and no question about it, tons and tons of restaurants and bars and tours of historical sites, all cool, really, really cool stuff to, to see. We just love this area. And how about the train? We enjoyed it so much, folks. If you you get the chance take the train lots of history the sugarcane history beautiful views of the uh, the ocean there that you'll see it's just stunning and uh, no question about it we really enjoyed that my sister did the fishing trip she absolutely loved it lots of great fishing charters uh, down there and if you get the chance to uh, do a fishing uh, charter you're gonna have a great time there's tons of fish in this uh, area no question about it and uh, you will have a lot of fun there uh, we had a great time and my sister uh, was all about catching this big bad boy all right how about this one tip number 12 awesome boat trips they've got all kinds of boat trips but the catamaran is our favorite and the favorite shore excursion that we've done on St. Kitts and boy is it a lot of fun like the catamaran trips always are got some great catamaran videos from all over including Aruba and how about this folks Definitely check out How to Have Fun Outdoors, our main channel. Over 4 million views in just the last two years. And we do all kinds of great uh, videos there from travel, adventure travel all over the world, cruise, hiking, RVing. And on this channel, we just released the Barbados on our other channel, 15 tips for Barbados on this channel, 10 tips for Grand Turk. You got all kinds of great tips. So definitely check out and subscribe to both channels. And how about St. Kitts Tip 14? Bring your U.S. dollars and the local language everyone speaks English so no question about it all you got to do is bring the dollars this is a tourist friendly island and these guys have a great time uh, entertaining the tourists and they know what it's all about we always have a great time down in St. Kitts and how about tip number 10 that's right you can even get married down there they're very open to that no residency is required couples are only required to obtain a marriage license in St. Kitts and have the following documents a valid passport, photo ID, original or certified copy of the birth certificate. It's a very small fee, 200 XCD, and the uh, ratio on that I think is $1.20 to a dollar. But in any case, like always, our final tip, have a great time, relax, enjoy yourself, stay away from all the negative stuff, get away from work, go down to the Caribbean, have a good time, and that's what this channel is all about. We love getting down to the Caribbean and traveling all the, over the world with cruises, so let's finish up this video with the leeche. What a great experience, a fantastic snorkeling and uh, Touching and having in my arms uh, the stingery is uh, something very unique. Well, I really, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this great adventure. So please uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and thank thanks so much, Alice, and thank you for watching this great video. Definitely subscribe, check out our channel, check out all these other great cruise videos, shore excursion videos we got for you and thank you so much for watching how to have fun cruising <laughs>